Hey everyone, FSU Bones here from the Inglorious Bastards gaming community, bringing you a video to celebrate our 50th subscriber. Thanks to all who have subscribed, watched, liked, shared, or commented on our videos. We really appreciate your support and hopefully we continue to grow in the future. So in this video today, I want to bring you two of my favorite defensive hiding spots in Rainbow Six Siege. The first one is in Hereford Base, and it's called the Maintenance Room. It's down in the basement, and it's right adjacent to where the bomb is usually located there. I like to board up this window, punch that hole out, board up this window, and punch this hole out as well. It gives me great line of sight straight ahead, off to the left, or on the right coming down the stairwell. I typically punch some holes in this drywall as well to give me line of sight into that room along with that door that we already boarded up. So it gives you some pretty good angles to kind of take bad guys on. My favorite part about this room though, however, is this ladder right there. Now I typically like to guard it from here. I don't necessarily want to move too quickly, but what I'll do is I'll go ahead and put a bear trap down on the bottom just in case anyone walks down there. But I love to use this ladder for flanking routes. So I'll come up and when I know bad guys are stacking up on the stairwell, I'll check this room. Sometimes you'll find them in there. Or, as they're coming down the stairwell, you can easily just pop them right in the back. It's such a beautiful flanking route. It's, and like I said, this is why it's one of my favorite rooms. This room also works pretty well if you are defending uh, objectives on the first floor. So just to kind of reset here, we'll go back down. We're in our little basement. You might not punch out all those holes. But if they come in from that room up there, you're going to let them pass, come up the ladder, and you can come in through this doorway here and start spraying them right there. Or if they're in there, you can come in and hose them down there. Sometimes they'll punch holes in through this wall to get to one of those bombs. So you can always run right in there and get them. So it's a great little access point where you can get an easy flank off on them. Now the other bomb might be hidden in here. So you can go ahead and punch some holes through here and get some great line of sight into this room. So I really, really uh, would advise to have at least one or two team members to be in this room if the objective is in the basement or the first floor because it's just an awesome space where you can get some really good flanks off and uh, help your team secure the victory. So one of my favorites, if not the absolute favorite one of my hiding spots. Now the second spot I want to show you today is the hallway between the white building and the brown building on Canal. There's the brown building, there's the white building, that's how me and my teammates distinguish it. And it's these four paneled windows here. So what I like to do is go ahead and break them out um, to give me some lines of sight. That's always a good thing. And it's mainly going to be to help pick people off as they spawn and move into position. So we'll do a quick fast forward through the prep phase and then we'll just show you where the spawns are. There's one over here to the right and then there's one back here over to the left. And then as we all know, the last spawn point is back in this corner over here. So you can see this is going to kind of give you uh, a good oversight of all three spawn points. Not necessarily off the bat, they have cover, so that's why I don't think it's cheap. But if they want to spawn over there and then come over into the brown building, you might be able to pick them off there. Or as they come across from there to the white building, you can kind of pop them right through there. So that's a great little spot. Uh, to start off with. Now if they start off on the left and they want to come over into the white building, you can pick them off right as they long, run along those two areas. You can pop them there, pop them there. Very good spots to pick them off. And what's important to note is that people are mainly going to be looking at the windows ahead of them, not from in front. So you can get some cheap kills that way. Now if they come from the right to brown, you can pick them off as they come across to the left. So it's a good cheeky little hiding spot. Now if you don't get your shots off right away, what you can do is kind of come around on here, punch out this window, and you get good line of sight for anybody repelling there and there. That's always good. I used this strategy on a game the other day, kept the team out of the building until the last minute. And then to change your angle, you can always come back up here and start taking shots from there. Uh, the key is to keep moving so you don't get picked off. So that's always a really good uh, strategy to use. So like I said, if you keep bouncing between window to window, you might be able to keep them out, especially if they keep firing into windows. You can come down here from this starting point, and if they're stacking up there, you can pick them off. You can always pick them off on the second row. So that starting position is good. Even if you don't want to pop out those windows, you might be able to get a jump on them. You can always come back out top again, although this takes a little bit longer to run all the way around, and by the time you get there, you're going to be detected. But it's a good little area to get some quick flanks off and I really do like it. 
Now as we reset here, let me show you another little spot that can be good. You can punch out this building in the white uh, building and you can get an angle if they're stacking up down in the basement on brown. You might be able to pick off some guys there and there as they stack up if the objective is in the basement. That's it for this video, guys. Thank you for your support. 50 subscribers. We're really excited. Have a good day.